Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Angelic Soul 11 coming to you with another advice of the week from Lord Ganesha. This is the week of September 16th to September 22nd. Okay, I did pre-shuffle the cards here. So I'll be just jumping straight into it. It is my most absolute greatest pleasure to bring forth any messages from Lord Ganesha in reference to believing in truth and righteous only okay those are the only messages that can penetrate through my aura into this space and i asked lord ganesha what advice can you give to the collective during this time what advice for this week of september 16 to september 22nd for the collective Lord Ganesha, what advice? There we go. That's beautiful. For September 16th to September 22nd, what advice can Lord Ganesha give us in reference to this week for the collective? can you give us for the week of September 16th to September 22nd for the collective? All right. Ooh, very, very, very beautiful here. Okay. So in the bottom of the deck, rolling the energies is the number three here with priorities. Okay. So what I'm getting, looking at the rest of the cards, I will show you here. But what I'm getting with this message of priorities, um, for some of you, it may be learning how to prioritize your time, um, really making sure that you are um, tying up loose ends. Um, I am also um, hearing because Saturn is going direct this week on the 18th that this is going to be a major major time of creative energy a major time of um making sure your priorities are on point um moving forward okay i'm hearing like go time okay so this is definitely going to be a week of movement and action okay and i think it's really beautiful there's a lot of threes on the board here so this does tell me that this is about the understanding of everything that you have been dealing with and learning for the last couple weeks coming to the knowingness coming to the understanding and really taking the action and living in that now present moment in regards to what it is that you've been trying to bring into your reality feel it in the now celebrate it in the now work with it in the now you got you have to be practical with what it is that you are trying to manifest as well because now is the time so it's about prioritizing organizing okay really making sure that um what it is that you are trying to bring forth into fruition is um is being prioritized well on on your list of things um that you're doing whether it's you're trying to open up a new business but you may have a nine to five job and have children or you know um have to cook and clean whatever it may be or maybe you know you work full time and you go to school full time and there's other things that you're trying to bring in prioritizing your time your schedule in a better way that is going to bring you the fulfillment of life of the promise that is yours of your dreams coming true okay um prioritizing your bills over like hanging out for some of you you may have been overindulging um and spending too much money either going now or on unnecessary projects okay and um even prioritizing your time um, with your loved ones here, okay? Um, making sure that you're not neglecting anything of priority, okay? 
So that's the, the, the ruling energy. On the, um, the first card that pulls out is the number 37 here, okay, which equals a 10, which goes back to completion for the, the beginning and the ending. But this is also telling me of the creative energy that's in your spirit. This is cultivation. And this card is very, very much about um, music, okay, um, how lyrics so for some of you, you might be songwriters. For some of you, you just might like um, music healing, okay? Listening to sound baths, um, prioritizing time for yourself to have a sound bath, to do sound healing, okay? Listening to music this week that is going to be uplifting you is going to be really important for you to be on a certain flow, on a certain vibration that is going to get you going and active to being your highest and greatest good here, okay? So possibly there were some projects surrounding music, okay, that needed to get done, and you weren't prioritizing things accordingly, okay? Or you um, may not even be listening to music of high vibrations because I'm really getting more so um, allowing music to be your healer with this. Um, allowing the music to be high vibrational. So maybe listen to more conscious music or more music with words of influence, of empowerment that's going to move you forward and higher on the ladder here, okay? Not allow um, lower vibrations to move you in, in a direction that will detour you from your path here, okay? And the reason I say that is because we do have the number 32 here with five, okay? And this is steadfast. And five is all about changes, travel, freedom, and power, okay? And what this card speaks about is being immovable, okay? So really not allowing lower vibrations, lower frequencies to move you out of the frequency of highest and greatest good for your highest and greatest good, okay? Allowing the music to move you and to heal you in a way that is going to really be uplifting, okay? And bring you lots of joy, okay? This is also talking about um, maybe there are some people in your environment that have been trying to take you out of your path um even so people that really aren't serving you for your highest and greatest good maybe they don't speak life into you okay or they are putting down your dreams because the beautiful thing about the music thing um you can take it as like words lyrics okay writing down your dreams speaking your dreams into existence you are a song your heart beats for a reason, okay? And I really feel like this is about moving with your heart, okay? But also being in a conscious state of mind, not to be moved by other vibrations that are sidetracking you from your priorities. Um, not allowing you to be moved by other vibrations that are not serving your projects here okay because this is a very creative so even if it's not music it could just be creativity here okay um and you want your creative projects to be something uplifting something that is going to move you forward okay for some of you because this is a collective reading um it may be that you may have had some projects that you've been really putting your heart into and kind of feeling stagnated on that, like things aren't moving forward. And um, I'm not necessarily feeling like it's the project that's wrong, but maybe learning how to prioritize um, more properly to get things done in a certain time frame, okay? Or also maybe the lyrics that's in your music not really being serving or beneficial to, towards your path. And so it kind of leaves you at like a stagnated kind of place here, okay? Or maybe there's people involved in your environment that aren't really trying to move forward with you and your goals. So it's really about checking checking 
your list twice okay your priority list twice checking your environment twice are these the people that's going to be moving forward with you or are these people that's going to be holding you back okay whatever the case may be stand firm and listen to your heartbeat okay and prioritize accordingly to your dreams and your goals here okay and do not be moved by any outside um disturbance okay any oppositions okay because really what's going to be happening by the ending of the week and you standing firm not being moved by other circumstances here okay that just wasn't singing the song of freedom in your life wasn't singing power into your life wasn't traveling in a direction that was going to be serving to you okay not allowing that to move you out of your path is going to bring you delight okay with the number three here okay i came i saw i conquered i can i will i am a very beautiful vibration of accomplishments in a sense being delighted in your projects being delighted in the healing that you allowed music to flow into your life okay maybe if you're not a songwriter you write poetry okay and i really feel like the music aspect of it is you know poetry is spoken word okay but it has a song all on its own okay the lyrics in your poetry really sings a song and puts out a vibration and you want to speak words of power at this point in time you really want to um be on that higher frequency okay i am gonna get some clarifications here um but i'm really feeling more so that with the steadfast here that there's some changes that have to be made in your priorities and your environment here in order to truly reach that that feeling of delight here, okay because whatever projects it is that you're working on okay put on some good music and get it done if you work in the music industry maybe try to make some shifts in your lyrics where it's going to be more high vibrational okay but still not being movable in the sense of being true to yourself don't portray yourself to be anything outside of yourself because that might actually backfire on you okay when you speak words of truth that brings healing onto yourself and to others okay when you listen to high vibrational music that does something to your cells and your organs where it reprograms them and it moves them more um freely they're able to travel without resistance in your body here okay and with the steadfast you see ganesha has all his tools to break through barriers to break so it could even be like you know stepping into a new place that you don't know how it looks okay and there may be people there especially in the music industry where they always want you to portray yourself different from who you truly are to serve the public and that may be a resistance for your spirit for your soul and so you have all the tools to break through those barriers okay to break through the illusions and say no i'm going to flow at the frequency that is for my highest and greatest good and this music is going to be healing it's going to heal my life and it's going to heal the life of others it's going to speak life onto others okay and you're gonna be all the more delighted for it okay prosperity is gonna come with that abundance will come with it joy happiness will come with it i'm getting a lot of positive vibrations with this and it's just cautioning you to really be mindful of your environment and not allowing um challenges to stop you here okay so this could also be, like I said, for some of you, like sound healing, okay, where maybe you just have some stagnated energies in your body and 
sound therapy is really maybe going to a drum circle or having a sound bath meditation with some singing bowls or even just clapping around or listening to your favorite songs of that's high vibrational um to get the work done to get the energy moving okay i really do feel like this is going to be a time of breaking through resistance breaking through barriers breaking through boundaries but being immovable in your trueness and your heart and your soul and your mind and your spirit here, okay? And be all the more delighted. So, Ganesha, what, what advice, um, I'm sorry, Ooh. what other messages can you give us in regards to cultivation? What other message do you have for cultivation? in the music healing. I love it. Steadfast and delight. This is very beautiful. Okay. So yes, there is going to be a completion here of some sort. We do have numbers moving up and we have a 21 here, which breaks down to an, another three here. Okay, so lots of threes, as I said, this is definitely divinely guided. Three is one of Ganesha's number as well as 12 and 21. And we do have 21 here. Okay, so he is here with us. Okay, as I stated before, for some of you, it's really about prioritizing what it is in your life that you need to concentrate on, that you need to focus on when it comes down to your dreams coming true um, and breaking energies or programs within yourself that was deeply rooted in a place that kind of left you stagnated before here, okay? With the number, I'm sorry, we're gonna go with the cultivation here. And if you look, Ganesha is here concentrating on the scrolls in front of him here, okay? He's really taking the time to read what it is that he wrote, okay? Taking the time to, I'm getting research, okay? So for some of you, it's researching. Maybe you wanna get into a certain industry and you have to research some stuff, okay? Maybe the music industry here or looking at opportunities here, okay? Concentrating on your goals, concentrating on your flow, concentrating on really just getting the task done in, in the way that is truthful and honorable to yourself and others to share this here, okay? I'm really getting a lot of writing here, okay? So for some of you, you may be writing songs, okay? And you're really just needing to focus and concentrate on these projects here, okay? And so that's where your priorities are at the moment, okay? Um, and it's going to bring about the promise of the future here, okay? You see the mountains here. It looks really dry, but Ganesha's not focused on those things. He's focused on the sun. He's focused on the promise of the future. Okay, this is the number eight as well, which is destroying and building. It's about, and with the steadfast here, with the number turning into the number five, that's changes. Okay, so maybe changing direction, okay, based on your priorities. So that you can fulfill your journey, you can fulfill your path for the promise of the future and where it is that you want to go, where happiness is, where enlightenment is, where truth is, where prosperity is, where love is, okay? And not being moved by distractions, not being moved by lower vibrations here, okay? Because both of these pictures have mountains here, which can seem to be as obstacles, okay? But in both the pictures, Ganesha move, is moving out of the mountains. He's moving away from the mountains, okay? He's moving away from, maybe there were people that you were trying to build with, okay? Um, in reference to the, these projects here, okay? That really didn't have the same goals as you, 
or didn't have the same consciousness mindset as you, um, didn't do it for healing in a sense, okay? For whoever this is, I feel like their music is supposed to do bring healing onto others, okay? Um, their words, they have words of power here, okay? Um, maybe even being a little bit more soft, Spoken, I'm, I'm hearing um, maybe it was a little bit too rough on um, be due to the distractions here or due to your focus okay but that had a lot to do with your foundation and your environment here we have the root chakra here okay um, and so for some of you it could have been you were moving um, through anger you were moving through fears you're moving through frustrations you were moving through um, an environment that was kind of lower, on a lower frequency, right? But these numbers are both three here, okay? And so your goal is to bring the light into your foundation, okay? So for some of you, this is that sound healing for you to get to the root of your problem here, okay? So that you can truly... Bring this into fruition. Shift yourself from a lower vibration to a higher vibration here, okay? Allow yourself to really analyze um, what are you filling your cup with? What are you allowing to move you? Is it your passion that's moving you? Is it your love that's moving you? Is it your fears that's moving you? Is it your environment that's moving you? And however it may be moving you, you want to concentrate on the healing aspect. You want to concentrate on moving forward and not staying still so that you can reach that happiness, so you can reach that peace, okay? Um, for some of you, it may be moving, you know, using that sound frequency to move you deeper in meditation um, into your root chakra to get to the root of things so that you have a better future, so that you heal those lower vibrations, okay? You taking the step forward. I really do feel like this is about moving forward here okay and success or happiness really coming into your life here so i'm gonna do just one more final outcome final outcome for the week there we go oh we got two cards beautiful and i apologize about that and in the bottom of the deck, we have the number 42, which breaks down to a six, which is harmony, okay, with achievement here. I definitely see success by the ending of the week for most of you, okay? And we have another six here with revelations and another eight here with inner knowing, okay? Like I said, for some of you, you're going to be taking this time to truly meditate and allow the music inside your soul, the music inside your heart. To really bring about some healing here, okay? And trusting your inner knowing, trusting your intuition that you know what's best for your highest and greatest good. And sometimes that's going to require you to be immovable in certain situations or places, things, or people that aren't in alignment with your highest and greatest good, even if they are in your environment. You can't take everyone with you, but the truth is going to be revealed. There's a lot of revelations that's going to be coming here. So you go from a lower vibration, from a lower chakra, taking the time to truly concentrate, meditate, do sound healing. Maybe it's chanting, okay? Doing the chants, okay? Sound healing, like I said. To break through the energies around you. Maybe you live in a, in a place or you're in an environment where you just can't light sage or palo santo or other herbs that's going to, you know, bring uplifting energies. And so sound is what's going to be breaking up that energy here, okay? Whatever it is, that inner knowingness, okay? I'm getting clear cognizance. You know what is best for you you know what is best for you and you know that 
the truth is always going to reveal itself here okay allow things to unfold the way that they need to unfold but do not sacrifice yourself into lower vibrations or environments to reach those goals if you're gonna do a sacrifice let the sacrifice be to reach your achievement to reach the light to reach revelations to be in that higher frequency okay revelations and inner knowing are just about the same right because it's revealing things to you so what is internal will reveal itself in the external maybe you have some dreams like i said and you weren't taking the time to prioritize these dreams into your reality but you know in your heart you know in your gut you know in your mind that this is a path for you that you're supposed to take and so the answers um to get there will be revealed to you here okay and achievement will come with proper concentration and proper prioritizing here, okay? I feel like this is definitely divinely guided here, okay? I see with revelations, the stars and the galaxy here, okay? For some of you, you may be like clairaudient, okay? And so your guides may speak to you in the form of music and giving you signals when to move and when not to move. So the inner knowing of when to move and when not to move. Give me just a moment here. Yeah, for some of you, you're going to have to let some people behind here um, to truly achieve what it is that you need to achieve here because it's lower vibrational. It's lower vibrational, okay? And it's time to remove those energies. And you may have been knowing it, but not... Um, moving away from it you probably kept yourself there but your inner knowing your inner your inner spirit your your soul okay has been communicating to you as well as with your spirit guides that these people just aren't on the same frequency of your goals here you may have multiple goals here um and they may not know how to build and it seems like you have all the tools okay to get through this you need only to not be moved by those lower frequencies but be moved by your higher consciousness here okay for some of you this may have been some traumas that was holding you back fears holding you back for some of you, this is a retry of something that you've started in the past um, and the way that you need to move on your new foundation that you're building is going to be revealed to you in time to make the changes and so that you can concentrate and prioritize here, okay? Yeah. I want to look at that. So we have a, 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 a many, many threes here, and we have three sixes here, and then we also have a nine. So three, six, nine energy moving, moving up. Okay, so definitely from moving from lower vibrations to moving to higher vibrations. So we have the achievement here. Okay, we have the heart chakra. Like I said, moving to your heart's truth. Okay listening to your heartbeat being in wholeness here this is the number 24 which breaks down to another six okay which is about that harmony here okay and the number nine with prosperity prosperity in your abundant in your foundation this is going to be a very very um 
good week to get started on those projects um finishing up projects for some of you a good week to be in harmony with your highest and greatest good being in harmony with your higher and lower self and that perfect balance of wholeness from your heart space here okay for some of you, your emotions may have been telling you a story and you have been fighting against those, those, the, the energies um, of those emotions, the messages of those emotions. Let me correct myself. The messages of those emotions. And um, that was causing a resistance here, okay? But once you let go, you move forward here, okay? But lots of prosperity and a new beginning. Definitely cycles ending and opening here, okay? You also do have a double nine here. So there are two nines here. Let me see how many threes are here. You have two nines and two eights. Three sixes. One, two, three, four. Four threes, okay? which is beautiful, which comes down to 12, another three. So changes in the foundation, for sure, that's gonna bring prosperity and wholeness. I'm super, super excited to be the one to give you this message. If it resonates with you, please give it a thumbs up. Like the video, share the video if you feel compelled that this may help someone here. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and this is the type of videos that you like to see here. Yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm very grateful for Lord Ganesha and his messages. Namaha, namaste, peace.